Hello everyone, my name is Katka. Uh, I am a manager of customer service team in uh, EMEA, uh, working at Red Hat. And uh, I would like to talk to you uh, about manager swap, uh, about my experience. What did the swap, you might be thinking? Um, is it something like a wife swap or... <laughs> Well, kind of similar, but I guess with a different purpose, more noble one. Uh, the manager swap is a disruptive uh, idea to blur the boundaries between uh, regions and teams, and it kind of enhances our uh, Red Hat uh, open and inclusive culture. Um, so the customer service department especially uh, is presenting our culture to the outside world. So. Managers of this very team were the obvious choice where, uh, when choosing the, the first um, um, people to, to try the first round uh, of the swap. So um, our team used to be a um, small local team only taking care of uh, regional customers, but then we became global. And um, not only that we had to uh, collaborate with our US and Indian and uh, APAC uh, colleagues, teams. But also we had to uh, work from one big uh, backlog uh, of customer requests, uh, AKA Global Q. Uh, so you can imagine uh, being global, it, uh, it requires lots of consistency. And suddenly there was a lot to learn. Um, so it was me and my colleague Ashley uh, in the US um, serving as guinea pigs for this uh, first swap. Uh, and I got out of my control, uh, control comfort zone when I became a newbie in the US team. Uh, and I definitely started seeing things from a um, different perspective. So the original goal that we agreed uh, on uh, was that we will um, basically attend every, uh, each other's team meetings. We will have one-on-ones with uh, all the team members weekly. And uh, also the underlying um, goal was to identify some uh, opportunities, maybe for better collaboration and also uh, how to improve our processes. Um, in the first week uh, of the swap, I uh, immediately saw um, that the dynamics of my newly adopted team uh, was a bit different. Um, I detected some really crucial uh, differences between uh, EMEA and uh, US cultures. Uh, see, the European way of communication is uh, definitely more direct. Um, slightly blunt, maybe even harsh, you might say. Um, we don't really um, do small talk much. Uh, we really prefer to address the elephant in the room. And um, this was a challenge for me. At the beginning, I was really trying hard, you know, to fill the diplomatic uh, uh, mold. And uh, I was getting lost in long sentences uh, and in um, uh, complex phrases and uh, as a result I always forgot uh, to smile as well that's strike two that's another problem you have to smile when you're speaking to American if you don't smile uh, you might come across as impolite even or rude so um, we don't really dance about uh, uncomfortable truths and um, let's say the sugar coating is not our forte either so what to do? Um, I, I, I am just wondering now, imagine how much time you would have if everything was addressed directly. I mean, you would say, this meeting is meaningless and we are wasting everyone's time. Instead, we have to say, um, I would suggest we postpone this meeting uh, until we have further details and uh, some structured agenda to cover. So, yeah, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I always prefer the um, direct uh, way of communication. Back to my newly adopted team. So uh, first week we got to know each other, we kind of established our communication um, ways and uh, we shared our life stories, we shared, some, uh, we shared the career journey as well. 
it was great. It was all virtual, obviously, but I got to travel to Panama, Argentina, Brazil, Portugal, Venezuela, all in my imagination. Um, so it was great. Uh, they were all smiley and polite, but still I felt we, uh, we were still kind of shy to each other. There was still some kind of boundary. And um, it was as late as the second half of the swap when I finally felt uh, people are starting opening up to me. St uh, they started sharing actually their, uh, their actual ideas and opinions. And uh, this constructive feedback, uh, that was the real gift. And uh, me by stepping back and simply listening to all that, uh, I realized some practical implications as well. So for example, as we became a global team uh, and we wanted to be globally aligned, uh, I realized uh, we have to have some uh, globally aligned new hire training as well. Uh, before we were four teams, uh, onboarding people our ways in a four regions. So that was one big Eureka moment or aha moment for me. And um, we should also not concentrate on processes that much, but also uh, on the inclusive uh, culture in that, uh, during that uh, new hire training. Uh, secondly, I realized we need to encourage more um, uh, interactions between the regions. So. Uh, after the year since the swap happened, I can tell a lot of things uh, have changed for the better. We do have a consistent uh, and globally aligned new hire training now. We have uh, established stronger collaboration. We uh, meet also not only with work related topics, but we have some regular uh, virtual games and virtual meetings. Uh, for example, uh, we had some cooking shows where uh, we got to learn how to uh, make an uh, authentic Italian tiramisu or uh, our uh, colleague from US was showing us how to bake a uh, fantastic banana bread. So um, I honestly believe uh, anyone on the team could benefit from a swap, not just people managers, but it could be a easily a individual contributor as well. So um, if you feel uh, that you know better than your colleague uh, across the, the ocean, you might be a perfect candidate for the swap. Uh, because there is nothing better than, uh, than trying that and walking in someone else's shoes to see their perspective and to understand uh, their ways. I promise it's an eye-opening experience. Thank you. And now we can, uh, we can open it for the questions. Yeah, or experience. Yeah. Just a quick one. You talk about like international swaps, but what about interdepartmental ones? Uh, even if the managers are doing quite different tasks, mm -hmm. they can still apply? Definitely. Oh yeah, sure. So uh, I was talking about international swaps uh, from the same type of team, but the question is if uh, it can be applied uh, when the managers are not managing the same teams. Uh, yeah, like development versus yeah, development versus production production I believe there will be some value that you can find there because if you are struggling with some other team uh, some collaboration is not as smooth as you would wish it's definitely great to find out you know to try to be in their shoes uh, for a certain time so yeah yes a uh, month one month yeah so Uh, it felt too short for me because, as I said, they started opening up only in the third and fourth uh, 101, which was like end of the swap. Uh, before it was all, it was interesting, but it was all kind of polite and very, um, mm, not formal, how to say that. Yeah, I, I, I feel like uh, it got, uh, we, we were getting to uh, the interesting stuff only too late. Yeah, you need to build a trust. Sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, was there any effect like on performance? If, like I would think that if the manager change might affect things for a short period of time, or um, because it 
was a similar type of yeah. team? It did not? Or any the, of that? the numbers were pretty much the same, but uh, the effect is uh, like my team is still contacting um, the, the other manager uh, because they know each other, so the collaboration is uh, more efficient and, and smoother this way. So, but uh, in terms of uh, how many requests did we do or something, no, it did not have any effect. But surely there's a learning curve, right, for the new manager to come to the team? Yeah, absolutely. I, I highly recommend it. <laughs> it's, it's uncomfortable, but great, yeah? And so it's like a one-to-one -one swap? Like you yeah, this was one, one to one swap, yeah. Rather than just like being there with them at the same time during the periods and then they come and visit you for the same period. That's another version, like, okay. yeah, there is no, um, uh, how to say, yeah, uh, it can be freestyle. Uh, yeah, Milan? Did the other manager have, have a similar experience or did you have completely different experiences that you uh, yeah, so we actually wrote a blog about it. So because I know you're from Red Hat, you will be able to read the blog. Um, yeah, uh, of course, she loved it as well. And, and uh, <laughs> everything was shining and bright. <laughs> As I said, I think it's, it's a great experience for everyone. I am encouraging now our uh, team leads, uh, our SOLs, like uh, other, other functions, uh, because I think it brings value. As long as you work for a global team, I'm sure there are some differences uh, between the regions that could be understood better. So go for it. Yes? Yeah, one month is too short for this. And also just uh, to explain, we did not have access to the HR stuff. Uh, so we were just kind of not on the surface, but uh, we would not be able to, you know, uh, go deeper uh, to the other team's um, uh, data. So it was uh, this way, it was just, uh, just our agreement and, and uh, experiment, yeah? Uh, well, I think Ashley uh, was focused more on the personal side, so um, I was the one who was always trying to um, talk about work. Uh, I think Ashley was just relaxed and, and they talked more, they, they were focusing on getting to know each other as humans more. But uh, yeah, it was, it was overall positive um, when you... Yeah, she did not mention any uh, any of this. Um, yeah, maybe it's an elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, one thing I totally admired how they how well they can connect. Uh, uh, like how um, they they had really great team building ideas. For example, they have game night every uh, Friday after work. They, they do some uh, Pictionary, which is a game where you draw something and the others are guessing. And uh, it's a simple thing, but we never did uh, such fun things before. So we learned, uh, we adopted uh, this and now we are actually doing the Pictionary with them together. So we have one joint uh, team building with the American team. It's really nice. Yeah. So unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you. I'm sure that I will be happy to discuss Absolutely. else with you later. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you.